Hi, I'm Sean Smith. This is Sean Smith Photos, where I edit street photography and occasional travel photos with On One Photo Raw. Okay, so uh, today I want to compare uh, the original AI Quick Select tool with the new Super Select AI tool and see which one is working better. Uh, when you might want to use one over the other. So what I have here is I have three photos. Uh, this first one I haven't edited yet. Uh, you know, a little, I went out for some fall photography a while ago and took the shot of a vineyard with some farm equipment. And then this past weekend I took this shot. Why is it not updating? There we go. Uh, I have some people in costume on Saturday afternoon getting ready for Halloween, uh, Saturday night, I guess. Uh, this is my edited version. I created a version of this and I reset all of the edits. And I, this is the one I'm going to work in. Uh, the farm one, I haven't touched it, haven't done anything with it. I don't know how it's going to work at all or where there's difficulties. Um, this is a shot that I took of a guy on a mono wheel with a double-edged, double-sided lightsaber uh, in downtown Toronto, uh, composited in um, one of the Dramatics guys from OcuDrone. This was this photo was uh, took me a while to get, but I'm really happy with the final result, especially considering. This is where I started with. I completely blew the photo out, but uh, I, I think the final version is kind of fun. And we'll, if there's time, we'll take a look. Come on, click. We'll take a look at this one as well and do some selecting. So let's get to it. And we'll move into the farm one. And I'm not really going to do lots of edits on any of these photos. I just really want to focus on comparing how easy it is to mask something in or out. Okay, so this photo, I want to select the tractors. So let's go with AI Quick Select first. And actually, uh, I want to hide the preset menu window. I just did this a little while ago. Preset browser. No, that's not it. Window. Show browser panel. There we go. All right, whatever. We'll have to cut part of this out. So let's grab Super Select a uh, uh, Super Select tool. There's the sky and some of the trees. And over here, you can see it gets part of the tractor. And then we've got the tractors and the ground. Well, if I select the tractors. And then I, um, <clears throat> I'll just add an adjustment, uh, darken, and we're going to view the mass now. It, you can see that the Super Select AI did not do a good job, and I would have to spend a fair amount of time cleaning this selection up. So let's reset this. Reset the mask and turn that off. And instead, we're going to go with, uh, where's the brush tool masking? And we're going to choose the quick mask where we draw keep and draw, um, keep and drop lines. So everything I want to drop is going to be in red. I'm just going to go like this, broad strokes. I'm going to reduce the brush size a little bit, draw in here between the equipment. OK, 
get a little closer in here in between the wheels yeah it, I think initially this takes a little bit longer than super select because you know you gotta go and draw stuff in here but we're not getting super fine with our details and now I'm going to draw what I want to keep so green lines along the tractor get the trailer get this little funky thing that's going up top here get the tire so it's really just getting broad strokes. Get the tire, get the tire. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in because I know there's going to be one spot right here. This black frame or whatever this thing is called is probably not going to get selected, so We'll just kind of tell the computer that we want that and uh, control zero to view the whole screen and hit apply. Okay, so th this did a much better job, but I'm not done. So the advantage that I have over super select is that I can still draw in more lines. So I want to drop all of this grass here and here. Some of the vineyard in the back, right along here. So I'm just going to put a few dots and we'll hit apply again. And once more over here. Okay, so. Uh, I think that the quick select AI did not do as a good of a job as I've seen in the past, but a couple of quick adjustments and I've got this mask created. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to control M. I'm going to view the mask and really easy to brush this in. So that's now brushed in. And yeah, so here we just need to do a little bit more fine tuning along here, along here, and some of this grass. So there is still some brushwork needed on this particular image, but in my opinion, uh, the Quick Select AI did a much better job on the initial mask than what we got with Super Select. Super Select would have had a lot more brushing and fine tuning to do. Okay, so let's reset. And we're going to take a look at these two people in costume. And let's aim to do the people because maybe, you know, we want to enhance the color of the dress or. Uh, we could invert the mask and darken the background, whatever. So we're, we're going to go for uh, people here. And this time I'm in local. Instead of using the super select tool over here on the left, I'm going to open the mask on the adjustment and use mask AI. And I'm going to select people. And right away, this did a much better job than the farm picture, but it's not perfect. Let's apply it and then we'll view the mask. So here we go. We do need to do some cleanup. We need to get rid of this and this stuff over here and along the edges of the dress and maybe the add some with the horns. Overall, this was really quick. In this case, there's a, a really clear separation between the background and the people. It seemed that the computer did a better job of with it. Okay, so this was really quick. Uh, Reset, turn off the mask view, and we're going to do quick select or quick AI masking now. Mask, 
Yeah, that's the one. And we're going to drop. Just draw lots of red everywhere that we don't want. And get in here. So my experience, a lot of times just adding little red dots closer in, it's a little bit easier and really helps the computer know. And then you don't run the risk of drawing your line over top of something you want. Oops, I do want that gone, so we'll cover that. And then just you know, wiggle in there. Uh, so I'm anticipating some issue with her, his, her uh, wig here, because the color and the tone really matches the background. But we'll see what happens. Let's go to keep. And same thing, we'll just draw along what we want to keep. and around the face and the hair and we've got this hair right along the edge of the same kind of color background so let's uh, drop and add a few more red dots along the way and even in here and then we've got some blue that is also really close to a similar blue okay let's hit apply i'd say that mask is almost perfect i think it actually did a little bit better job than the super select but it did take a little bit longer uh, we've got some issues here but, you know, this would be really easy. I can just drop a couple of red dots in here, along here, one there, one there, hit apply, and, oh, you know what? I made a mistake, or my dots made a mistake. There, okay, so we'll hit done, and then we'll view the mask. And yeah, this mask also not perfect. We need to fix up along the top here, along the hair, and kind of clean up along the black dress. In this, for this photo, I think the win goes to Super Select because uh, it took longer to draw the lines and whatever. Uh, let's take a look at the third photo. All right, so this one here. Uh, what I originally did is I went in and I did a, uh, a sky swap and then later on I went in and I sucked through the guy and his lightsaber and I did some work on that. So the sky swap did need a little bit of help with the mask even though I used the sky tab. But what I'm going to do in here to test is I'm going to try and get the guy. Now, my guess is that the lightsaber is not going to get picked up by Super Select AI. And I wouldn't expect it to because it's not human. It's like a tool or a thing that he's holding on to. But let's find out how it works. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's, this time let's just use the Super Select. And I believe the shortcut is K. Yes, it is. It's K. So look at this i'm moving my mouse over here and it's got some of the man-made ground some of the some of the man doesn't have the bottom of his cape and some of the sky and part of the car not great 
yeah, uh, I like. I just don't see what super select is doing for me here at all. It's it's not doing anything. I'm gonna turn off the super select tool. Uh, undo. Why? How did I? Why did I add text? We'll just put that over there. Let's go to our local tab. Open up the mask. And we're going to paint in and we're going to select people. People. Look at that. The people is doesn't even select the person. OK, so super select AI complete fail on this photo. All right, yeah, just a, a complete fail. I'm not even going to tr try and use that. All right, so let's go over and use uh, the quick select AI. And we're going to focus on the guy. So uh, we're going to keep him, just draw along him and the mono wheel. Look at that. Okay, and let's zoom in and we will Okay, so I'm gonna shift click. Whoops. Shift click does a straight line and now I've got it centered here. I'm gonna straight line to the end. Boom. I'm gonna click, click here. And then I'm gonna shift click to the end. We got our green line there. Go in here and fit. And let's go and drop and zoom in between the legs because we're gonna go in here, get that. And do, do, do. So same same thing, draw some dots a little bit closer to the dude in the costume. And I think this should do a pretty good job. Right? And I let's go one more right around here. We got some tone that's the same. And let's hit apply. And it takes a second. And look at that. That selected the guy and a little bit of the car and stuff. But this is really easy to clean up. Okay, so we're going to hit drop and we're in a couple dots in here, right around the wheel, right around the car, and here, and here, and here, and here. And we'll hit apply. And we basically got a perfect mask now. Done. And control M to view the mask. Look at that. I've got a mask that the Super Select AI tool could not do. Just got to clean that up in here a little bit. So uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can also find me on Instagram, Vero, and my website, seansmith.net. Links in the description below. Ultimately, right now, I think the Quick Mask AI is the better tool than Super Select AI. I'm sure that uh, in the future, when Super Select AI has more training and experience and they've fine-tuned the algorithm, that it will be the better tool. But for right now, I think my go-to tool is going to continue to be Quick Mask AI. Thank you for listening.